All right, so our whiskers and our ears are flapping. We just need to do the hat responding and then we'll be okay. So let's, I'm gonna try thing, I'm gonna still use the initial, these keyframes for the up down position of the head and work off that and see if, if we can start with that and then if we need to do any offsetting of the timing after that, we can, um, we can build it from there. So let me go into the head and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say we had, well, this still helps us. So um, let's go ahead in here. Let's uh, highlight these are what we wanna animate. And so uh, 113 and 25 are still our, we'll say those are gonna be our, our uh, main positions. And then we can go to seven and 19 again, our, our once again, our go-to's for our breakdowns, and we can decide how we're going to animate this. So, I think uh, let's see what happens. He's in the air on seven, and then back down. So it's up on once again, up on seven, down on thirteen, and down on one. So down, up, down. So if we want to match that initially, we can match that and just say down, down, up, down. So let's go ahead and we'll say, if this is up, we'll just nudge all these up. That much. And I'm gonna, let me hide this ear. And we're gonna bend this brim and then we're gonna bring it down. Okay, so let's down, up, down. And we'll tween these and see what we get. And then I gave myself this uh, um, reminder here that I've been using classic tweens and, and um, this whole time because they've been symbols and I, just wanted, I didn't want to remember, I didn't want to forget that this brim was actually a shape tween. All right, let's loop this and see what happens. And it's probably gonna look really kind of, well, it might work, but it, I'm gonna guess it's, it doesn't feel like it's actually, the problem is these, the ends of the brim are in the same place. So it feels like it's, I don't really feel like it's moving. It feels kind of like it's just kind of lifting up and dropping. So um, we'll make the down a little, a little more on his head. Loosen that up a little bit more. Now, how's that looking? And we can make the up a little more up. Well, that's a down. What are we doing? The up a little more up. And maybe we can soften this a little bit. There we go. So I've got a, um, a jump in the feather there. I think it's probably has to do with the fact that this is not the same as that. Okay. Let's see how that looks back on this level. It's not bad, actually. Um, it may work for me. We'll put a little bit of squash and stretch in there. And then uh, one other thing is to give up some depth, we're gonna show the inside of the hat whenever it raises up into the air here. Like on this frame, we can show the inside of the hat and make it feel like it's twisting out. So, all right, some squash and stretch. So we can go inside of here. Now, we're, now that we know we're driven by up and down, we can say, okay, well, the hat is gonna same as the body. If we take the brim and just isolate the brim. Oop, crown, sorry. And as it's pushing up around here, the same breakdowns, I guess, at three, we can put one here and then we can put one here at uh, 10. So here it's going to be slow, the top of the hat, right? The bottom is pushing up and the top is going to want to resist and lag behind. So. Uh, we can do this with the onion skin, but we can probably just have a general idea that it's going to 
be there and then it's going to push out a little bit. And then on the way down, the same thing. It's going to want to, the top of the hat's going to want to stay where it was and it's going to also push it a little bit. And maybe we can just duplicate these, get the same thing going on here. Let's back up one and see what we get. All right, so squash the stretch is happening there. So I, I want to do a little bit more with the feather, and I'm going to do the inside of the brim, and maybe we can call the hat done. Okay, so the feather can have a little more on it. So turn you on. Now that the feather is doing its thing, as the hat pushes up, the feather is going to probably want to lag behind also. And then... Here it's going to want to raise up and maybe make it even pull a stretch on it. Here we don't need it to do, it can be in terms of um, its rotation, it can be there. It needs to be in the right position though. How does that feel? Still a little bit, I can lag it a little more. And then the same thing on here. That's going to be the same as that. This can lag a little bit. And then this has to be copied to here so that it hooks up. And then this cycle can duplicate like that. And then we can back up here and see how does that feel. All right, that's better. OK, I'm liking that. OK, so um, let's add the inside of the hat now. And I think it's, it's still in the library. I think I have one called Hat Inside. And all it is, I get too fancy. It's it, All it is is an oval drawn with a dark, uh, a dark gray outline and a light gray fill. Well, a dark gray out, a stroke and a light gray fill. Um, here, let's put it on the, let's put it in there. So this will go here for now. We'll, Hat inside, and there it is. So here, I guess there's not that much to it. Why don't we just recreate it so we don't have to get? Um, we're gonna do it. We don't cheat. We're gonna do everything from scratch. So undo the hat inside. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say, give me a oval. Uh, Like that. There. I think that's pretty good. Make the inside not totally black. Not like that. Oh, I guess it has to be. Let's make it lighter inside. Does that work? Why not? Let's see what happens. Okay. So that's our uh, inside of the hat. We'll symbolize that. And we'll put it in place about like that. So there, where is it at? Let's take a look. Where's this? That's the most extreme part, is there. And then here, and then in front of that, we probably won't see it at all because it's going to be like a concave kind of a thing, convex. And then same thing on this side, oops, this side, and then we're gonna there. So we just have a short amount of time when the inside of the hat's visible, but that's all we need to kind of make it effective. Get the illusion going. There. And then. And it should probably be the same on this side if it's a symmetrical move. Yep. All right, so what happens if we clean it? I think that works. Okay, so let's look at the, where it's going to loop in terms of the um, cycle. This is correlated to this. Or we can just say, well, 1 and 13 are the same. So I can just take this empty frame at 1 
and drag it out and then just shift drag it over to 13 and I'm, I know I'm in alignment again. So if we back this up, play it back, it should be cool. All right, so that's pretty good.